Hello, and welcome to the 14th in my series I call Proverbially Speaking, some reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. If you like my series, please feel free to hit the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ, where you'll find other content we have, such as our Sunday morning Bible studies and our uh, worship services, both on Sunday morning and with our Pastor Mark in the evenings on Sundays. So let me begin with a prayer first. <clears throat> our loving and kind Father, I thank you for the grace that you bestow upon your children. Be with me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so what I want to look at today are some verses from the first book of Proverbs. And these are verses 20 through 22. And they read, Wisdom shouts in the street. She lifts her voice in the square. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. At the entrance of the gates in the city, she utters her sayings. How long, O naive ones, will you love being simple-minded? and scoffers delight themselves in scoffing, and fools hate knowledge. So many times in school and in life are we asked to pay attention. One of the things our brains are designed to do is to filter out the din of sights and sounds and smells that come at us everywhere and to simply pay attention to what our brains tell us is important. We're doing this all the time because there's so many things to pay attention to sometimes, especially in the noisy streets of life. Uh, because of this, sometimes even a shout can be silence. We learn this often as parents and definitely in my profession of teaching that shouting too much can become unheard by our audiences, our kids. American psychologist Michael Posner distinguishes at least three major attention systems that we have in our brains. One is alerting, which indicates when to attend and adapts our level of vigilance and how we are attentive. Then we have our orienting system, which signals what to attend to and amplifies any object of interest. And our executive attention, which decides how to process the attended information. It selects processes that are relevant to whatever given task we have and controls how they're executed. So it is really not the level of the message that is sent that is most important. It is how our brain alerts us, orients us, processes us, uh, and all this information. Wisdom is here. The wisdom of God is all around us. It is shouting in the streets at the head of the noise that is all around us. It is our decision. Will we remain naive? Will we scoff at the knowledge before us? Or will we attend, truly attend, and hear loudly and clearly wisdom's voice? Be attentive. Be ready to listen. Thank you for listening to my words today, and I hope they inspired you. Thank you.